Okay, so here we are in the garage. Uh, I've just started construction for my first ever jib camera crane type thing. This is going to be the fulcrum where the arm will pivot from. Nice sturdy construction. Um, just picked up some old MDF. Uh, used to be a shelf, I think. Um, but it's it's pretty thick. Got quite a few screws there. Hold it together and then uh, got this from the DIY store. Uh, 1.8 meter pieces of planed timber. Um, screwed a couple together to uh, make it sturdier. And uh, I've left this section off at the end so that I can build an extension where the two parts will fit together. Um, this is a lazy season joint, ready for the base. And uh, this here is a top hat stand because I'm going to be using a speaker stand as my tripod so I can uh, mount the whole lot on top there using that. should be pretty solid. And uh, yeah, that's the plan for now. I've got some, uh, some steel cable here. Got about two meters of this for now just to um, try it out to use as a support and um, various nuts and bolts and bits and bobs. Okay, so I've drilled some holes in the ends of the uh, arm pieces and uh, these holes here at the end are going to be connected through to this piece which I've now built. So this will fix on the end here with a big bolt through it and uh, this piece is going to be where the camera cradle will hang from. The cradle will hang down here so the camera will be sort of here. Um, I've also put some hoops on the top here to hold on to, to sorry, tie the wire to. Okay, so here we have the first little test of the boom. You can see the arm here. Put the bolt through the main part of the fulcrum, extended it up to the correct height, because I messed that up in the first place. Got the cable running down here to the head. And uh, this should, yeah, the head stays level, you can just about see that, uh, it needs some adjustment, but uh, got a bit more work to do yet, I'm going to use one of these to uh, tighten the steel cable that runs across the top. Here's the first proper test of the jib in action with counterbalance weights. Here's the jib with the extension on, so it's now about 3.6 metres long. Uh, needed quite a few more counterweights on the end to weigh it down, and it's still slightly heavier at the other end. 